Hi there my name is Joey. I am going to chat to you about context diagrams, in the system development life cycle, known as the SDLC. Context diagrams are drawn firstly in the analysis stage. They stipulate the system boundary of what is being analyzed. The following are the correct symbols to use for a context diagram. The circle is only drawn once and stats the boundary of the system being analyzed. The square is the external entity. These give and receive data from and to the system. Lastly the arrow is the flow of data from the entity to and from the system. Here is an example of a finished context diagram. You can see it has two entities. Client and bank. The system boundary is stated as the ABC Gardening Center. The client calls and makes a date and time with ABC Gardening Center. This is then confirmed. After the work is completed an invoice is given to the client. Payment is made, a receipt is then given to the client. At the end of a period of time ABC Gardening Center gives to the bank their deposit details. The bank then sends back slip details. You must learn how to draw these for your computer science course. You normally are given a case study in which you need to identify the entities, the system boundary and flows. Here is an example of a case study. Firstly it is a good idea to identify the entities in the study. I do this by either underlining or highlighting them. This is what I have found. I use a table to organize my thinking. There is only one external entity and that is student. You can also see there are four data flows in this system. First draw the system. Then the entity. Name them appropriately. Student as the entity. University enrollment system as the boundary of the system, then put in the data flows. In this case, the student sends personal details and course details to the university. The university after checking either sends a confirmation or rejection letter to the student. Because the data flows show data they cannot send physical items, it is good practice to put the word details after each of the flow items. This will then ensure that data and not physical items are being included. Rules to ensure when drawing context diagrams. No entity to entity. Entity must be a noun. Entity is either a type of person, department, company or another system. Data flows are data and need details at the end of flows. The system is the boundary. Data flows normally flow in and out of the system. Context diagrams are also drawn in the design phase showing the new system. The best thing is to practice drawing context diagrams. Have fun!